Hello there, Leos. This is going to be your how do they feel about you reading. And this will be for any Leos who are born under the sun, moon, or rising sign. And it could also be for others who are cross-reading for another Leo. So, um... I hope that this reading resonates with you and that you enjoy this reading and you get much clarity and insight from it. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and tune into the energy of whomever the person is that you all are inquiring about and that spirit reaches you in the way that they are meant to reach you. All right, Divine Spirit asks for highest guidance and highest clarity from a place of love and send much love to you guys. All right. So I don't know what you guys are going through, but let's see what's going on. I kind of feel like kind of confusion. Okay, then you have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I kind of feel like, let's just see. All right, Leos. So what is this person's most dominant feelings about you currently? You have the Fool card. So kind of looking at you as like this fresh new start, this new beginning, someone that they can have a good time with. Maybe they enjoy you um, as a person. They enjoy your personality. You're very playful. You're very outgoing. You give them an excitement in their life, some sort of excitement. So I feel like right now they're at a good space with you and they see that there's a lot of potential you know, they don't really know exactly how it's going to play out. It's kind of just like taking the risk of let's see how it goes because the energy is really good or I enjoy this person's company. I love what they're about. I love their personality, that type of thing. It could even be that they're being divinely guided or led to take this approach. OK, um, so let's see. Why are they feeling this way? For sure, they have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like they are, you know, I'm getting that they are emotionally invested in you. Somehow they're, I get that maybe this person is trusting their heart or trusting their intuition a little bit more or starting to nurture their feelings or acknowledge their feelings about you or where they want to take things with you. Being the Queen of Cups, this can represent a water sign woman, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces woman, but it could also be a male as well, or it could represent someone who's very um, in tune with their emotions, very compassionate, very loving, very intuitive. So I feel like they're aware of how they feel and they're being open. They want to allow this whatever it is between you, the fun and energy, they want to take a chance on it and see where it goes. Okay, so how are they projecting their feelings out to you? Well, it's two of pentacles is kind of contradictory. It's like, um, it's kind of like this energy of back and forth, you know, trying to find balance with how they feel. One minute they're in, one minute they're out. So you don't really know. So they may be showing you something totally different from their true feelings. It's kind of like, um, let's see how things go between you and me. Or let's see, yeah, I don't know, I might hang out this weekend or not, I don't know. Or yeah, I might get on that business deal with you, I don't know, uh, I'll think about it. So it's kind of like they, they're projecting this energy of weighing the pros and the cons and kind of being um, a fickle type of person. But why are they projecting in this way? They have the two of cups. So they want to make sure that you see what they see, that you're on the same page as them, that you feel the same as what they feel. So could be that maybe you're not showing the same interest or you're not showing the same reciprocations. It's like something is not being reciprocated here or they don't, you know, it's not physically appearing that way. So until they know for sure, what's up, um, they're just going to continue to be fickle. That's kind of what I'm getting. What their overall intentions are is the Emperor card. So with the Emperor, this is a fire sign person. I believe it's Aries, but he, he is a fire sign, such as yourself. It can represent another fire sign. So just what I'm getting from this alone is that their intentions with you um, I feel like they want to be at the same level 
as you, they may feel like they're not good enough or they're not up to par with you or they're not up to speed with you in some sense. Um, it's like two different types of energies. Like they're not the same, but it may appear that way. But in some way, you guys share the same type of energy or feelings I'm getting. But it's a lot of confusion and a lot of miscommunication and misunderstanding. Okay. With the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this person is reliable, um, is trustworthy, could be an earth sign, could be a um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, or just have this archetype, this energy of being down to earth, very loving, very genuine, reliable. But this person, even being the Knight, could even be like the queen itself. She doesn't feel like she's the empress, okay? Or he doesn't feel, so say this is your female watching this. They see you as the empress and they don't see themselves as the emperor. They see themselves as a king rather than a queen. Or this queen doesn't see herself as your empress. She sees herself as just a queen. Not up to par, uh, my God. Not up to par with you. So it's kind of, I'm just getting their intentions are is to kind of be on your level and to feel like they're winning your approval because at this point they don't know where you stand with them is kind of what I'm getting. So that's your reading, Leos. I hope that you've enjoyed this reading, that it gives you some insight and clarity. As always, I'm sending you much love and until next time, peace.